Well, we're making good time on the turnpike. Good afternoon and welcome to today's vlog. It's 1.07 p.m. Just dropped my dad off at the airport. Woke up to a little bit of snow this morning, so we left a few minutes earlier. Had lunch at Bob Evans up in uh, Brooklyn, east or west of Cleveland, a couple of miles. So I'm on the turnpike now making great time um, on the way back to Silver Lake. Roads are good. I've, I've got crews set at about 78 miles an hour. So I'm going to go back to the grandparents' house, and I think... We're demantling Christmas, dismantling Christmas, and getting ready for summer because that's going to be here in six or eight months. Mile, keep to the right to follow the eight. There it is. Well, guys, you want a good story? All right, story time's here. It's a few minutes after seven o'clock. I just finished working for about five hours and 10 minutes at my grandparents' house. All of the Christmas stuff is done. Progress has been made, feeling good about that. Anyhow, I'm on my way home, intersection of Graham Road and uh, 91, waiting to make a left on 91 from Graham Road. Look down at my onboard, I was the first car, by the way, in line at the red light. Um, Look down at my onboard computer for 10 seconds, not even, three, four, five seconds. Look back up and I noticed that uh, the, the car that would have been coming straight through the intersection uh, against the, the way that I would be going if I were going straight, their headlights were off. And I thought, why are your headlights off? It's seven o'clock. I mean, it's really pretty dark. Um, I got a better look at it. It was a BMW and I thought, oh, that's an E34. Well, it took me a few, a few seconds to see in the darkness. It was an E46, three series, not a older five series. So, um, I wondered, like, why the lights off? So I looked behind it. There's this white pickup truck, looked like a uh, an older, turned out to be a Dodge Ram, old one, probably late 90s, early 2000s, and uh, it had rear-ended the BMW. Hood was all crumpled in, you know, turned it into a mountain, and uh, the guy got out of the the three series and turned around to face the guy who rear-ended him. Well, he didn't want any part of that. He decided the uh, the Dodge decided to put her in gear pull a U-turn, slide the back of his, his pickup truck into a black uh, GMC Acadia, hit that car as well, finally straighten it out, and then take off down the road. So I'm standing there with my jaw open, like did I seriously just watch this guy smash into two cars, one of them's a BMW, and then run. So I get my green arrow, right? Hell no, I'm not going left. Put it in first gear, rev this thing out a little bit, I catch up to the guy, call the cops, Give them the license plate number, they got them. Hell yeah, that is BMW camaraderie at its finest. Nobody is hitting one of my brothers and getting away with it. So hopefully that guy goes to some prison time now. Can I just say I feel awesome about that? I mean, I probably would have done it for anybody, given the chance. I mean, I did technically break the law by going straight through a, uh, when I was in a turning lane, but there was nobody on the other side of me, and I'm like, I'm not letting this guy go. Hell no. So we got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I am now home. It's 12.40 in the morning. I was over at Kenan's house for a little bit. Updated the entire service history of my car document uh, since we got it. I have kept a um, spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet of the date I've done anything, um, part prices, part descriptions, and mileage of the car when I've done anything to it. And I've just added two fields, quantity. If I ordered a couple of things, I now have a quantity box and the part numbers box. So it took me forever to go through the 167 different instances of service I've had since I bought the car and update all of that. So I did that. Anyways, I have energy. So we're going to de-Christmasificate. This is the before view. I don't know how much I'm going to get done tonight. Probably not everything because it's 1240. So we're going to get to work. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it all. Everything inside is now complete with the exception of vacuuming this room, which I'm not going to do right now because it is 3.09 a.m. And uh, I don't want to hear about that in the morning. So we got all this stuff back. Everything's cleaned and put back where it goes. I left that blanket down here for now. Tree is down and put away. Pictures are back up. Furniture is moved back around. Everything inside the house is done and very neatly packed and put away. So I don't remember what time I started, but it's 3.09. So I'm gonna go up, jump in the shower, do some emails, watch YouTube, 
go to bed. Tomorrow's Tuesday, the last day of this year. The only thing I, I didn't do inside is uh, the candles in the windows, and that takes five minutes, 10 minutes. So I'll do that tomorrow, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.